Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a look. This look, it's a leopard look and it was inspired by no, none other than Mich Miss Michelle Fan here on YouTube, one of like, the most popular makeup girl on YouTube. If you haven't seen her, go check her out, definitely. Um, so I have these leopard inspired eyes and I have golden cheeks, it will be explained. Um, basically, I got this idea because my mum is going to like this dress up ball thing this weekend and she wanted me to do, like, I think the theme's Jungle Book or something. She wanted, they're dressing up as leopards and she wanted to do, me to do makeup on her and her friends, kind of, to go with that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love filming it, so, um, please rate and subscribe. So sorry, this isn't. This is kind of a zoomed in as I can get. And yeah, it's not focusing very well, but I'm trying. So first, I'm gonna get painterly pink. I don't even know why I'm showing you because it's under focus. Just the nude base you can use. Urban Decay Primer Lotion. Use any base you want to face shadow insurance. Anything that you like, but keep it nude. For now. Okay. I'm just going to let that dry a bit and I'm going to take a paint pot in Rubenesque I'm doing it again it's kind of a goldy kind of colour yeah it's not going to focus and I'm going to get on a different finger I'm going to place that on my lid Sorry, my camera's rubbish. It's not going to focus all the time. Then I'm going to get just a plain white eye curl. I'm going to place this in the bit in a corner, in the inner third of the eye. Um, a perfect thing for this would be NYX pencils in milk but those aren't available to me so I'm using a white eye curl um, but yeah, milk would be best okay, so next I'm going to get um, an opaque-ish white colour this is manila paper from the colourful quad and I'm going to get that just on a flat brush and I'm going to put that over the white eyeliner It doesn't have to be perfect at the moment, you can fix it and blend later. You just want to get it quite opaque. Like that. Sorry, this camera's terrible. Then on the other side of the brush, I'm going to get this colour. This is Aztec Brick from the same quad. Uh, you could use, similarly use Amber Lights. Um, so, you know, or something like Baked from Urban Decay and you just want to put that on the rest of the lid and into the crease and then just fan it out a bit like so then on a crease brush you want to get this colour um, this is similar to Twice Baked from Urban Decay uh, it's called Creole Beauty the same quad. Just kind of like a deep chocolate brown and you want to place that in the, lid, in the crease to get a bit more definition. And you can kind of fan that out as well. And you want to get the same brush that you used to apply the first opaque colour and get a bit more of that white and kind of use it to blend the two colours together. Like that. Okay, so my camera's kind of running out of battery, which is so typical. Um, 
I've just blended around the edges just to get a wild look and I've put the same white colour under my brow bone for a highlight. Next you want to get your favourite liner. I'm using Maybelline um, Impact Express. It's like a felt liner. So you want to get a nice um, smooth line and you just want to create this kind of boiling. You can't really see it as well because I've got these dots. But yeah. So what I've done is I've brought the same eyeliner underneath and I can connect it to that centre part like that and I've put a wing on. Like so. Now is to do the dots. I just want to do semicircles and stuff like that just leading up. Uh, you can do that with this or you can do it with the gel eyeliner whatever you feel. So I'm just going to start them and then I'll finish them off camera can serve my battery. This is kind of supposed to be random. Um, you don't want them to look exactly the same as the other side. You want to bring it all the way up like you, where you find your eyeshadow. So some semicircle, some more of a circle. Different sizes. Okay, so once you fill in the rest of those, um, you need to fill in some whites, so I'm going to show you what I've done on my lid and then I'll do that. Okay, so now I've shown you, I'm just going to get the same white colour that we've been using throughout on a smaller brush, just a really small one. And just in the middle of some of the circles, you just want to add a bit of white. Um, I'd actually recommend if you have a new white eyeliner that's not a pencil, to use that. I just don't. I'd recommend that so it's clearer. But this is the best I have. Or you could use it with Fix Floss. So now you've got some white. I'm just gonna go around this bit a bit more and redefine and define this cat bit. And I'm just gonna go under my brow again. I also, while the camera is off, redefine my eyebrows to make them a bit stronger. So now you've got that. Okay, so once you've done that, I just added a bit of I'm in Decay 24-7 liner in zero to my waterline and I put some mascara on. Um, okay guys, so now I'm going to do my face. I've kind of just touched up my foundation stuff, so I'm a bit cleaner and I'm going to do a bit of contouring using Nars Laguna. Uh, we want kind of a more sculpted for cat face. Okay, so in typical tutorial luck, my camera has run out just on the last step. So this is going to be on my Mac, but I apologize, but this isn't too detailed, so it should be okay. Okay, so I've sculpted my face more than usual. I've contoured more than usual with an angle brush and Nars Laguna, just because I think that Kat's faces are really quite sculpted. So I did my cheekbones and I did my temples and my jawline. Um, so now it's blush, and just, it depends how extreme you want to go. I want to go quite, like not to the extreme, but quite out there. So instead of blush, I'm going to get this. This is MAC Eyeshadow in Casino. Um, very similar to Amber Lights. You could use any of the eyeshadows that I mentioned um, for the eyes for this. And you're just going to put that where you'd usually put your blush. So on the apples of your cheeks and pushing outwards. I probably can't see this very well. So you put it on the apples of your cheeks and blend it upwards. So I got confused because I was looking at the camera, it's the other way around. So that will give you an extra shine and that extra glow and extra feistiness. So that's really exciting. Um, and I'm not going to do anything to my lips because I don't want to like take focus away from the eyes or the cheeks. So you could obviously do anything you want to the lips, just I would recommend staying in more of a warm, um, toned family. So I hope you guys enjoyed, um, I definitely enjoyed filming this, it was awesome, definitely fun. Um, so yeah, and if you guys liked it, and if you check out my other videos, and please subscribe, thank you.